Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a song called In the Summertime by Mungo Jerry. And it starts with some really cool licks around the E major chord. And the way you play E major, first finger is going to go G string on the first fret, second finger is going to go A string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an E major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And we're going to do the E major chord four times from the beginning, and then we're going to be going to an A major chord. And the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the G string on the 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the B string on the 2nd fret, so it's a big party on the 2nd fret. If you strum all those together, then that sounds an A major, it sounds really, really happy. We're going to do two A majors, and then we're going to go back to the B E major, and then do another E major, and then we're going to be going to a B7 chord. And the way you play B7, first finger is going to go D on the 1st fret, 2nd finger is going to go A on the 2nd fret, third finger on the G on the second fret, and the pinky is going to go to the high E on the second fret. And if you strum just the A string to the high E string, you kind of avoid the thick E. That'll get you your clear sound on that, and it sounds a little messed up. It's kind of supposed to. And a lot of times I'll take my second finger in that chord and kind of run it into the E, so I'm actually kind of muting it out just in case I miss. And then from the B7, we're going to go back to an A major. And then from A major, we're going to go back to an E major. And then we do another E major. Our form through the entire song, but a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting, I like adding what I call a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite 4 4 strum patterns is a down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you just took the E and just tried that a lot, down, down, up. But then if we try that through our form, then we have the E down, up, down, E down, 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 down, up, down, E But in the recording, though, the actual guitar part sounds like it's doing kind of a long down, up, down on each of those chords instead of filling in all that time with the down, down, up, up, down, up. So it'd be kind of like a long down, up, down, long down, up, down. And what I'm doing is kind of killing the sound of the strings after that last down with my right hand. So I'm going down, up, down, kill it, down, up, down, kill it, down, up, down, kill it. So if we try that through our form, then we either have the E with a down, up, down, E, down, up, down, E, down, up, down, E, down, up, down, A, down, up, down, A, down, up, down, E, down, up, down, E, down, up, down, B7 down. So that's more what the guitar actually sounds like. But I, mean, I think it sounds really good to do the down, down, up, up, down, up, especially if you're trying to accompany it with your voice. But then there's some really cool licks through this tune. And, and the first one kind of starts on the A string on the second fret. And this is kind of an E lick for this song. You're going second fret on the A, and then fourth fret on the A, and then second fret on the D. And then we do a couple more of those second fret on the D. And then we're gonna go first fret on the A, and then second fret on the A, and then fourth fret on the A, and then back to second on the A, A, and then go third fret on the low E, and then fourth fret on the low E, and then open E. So we got two, four, two, 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 one, two, four, two, three, four, open E. <laughs> so we got A string, two, four, and then D string, two, 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 and then A string, one, two, four, two, and then E string, three, four, so that's kind of what, what what's happening over the E lick is you got that. But then you kind of get to an, an A lick for the A chord, where we kind of start off the same way. We do that two four on the A string, but then we go to the D string four, and then second fret on the D, and then back to fourth fret on the D, and then fourth fret on the A, and then fourth fret on the D. And then two on the D, and then four.
four on the D, and then back to two on the D. So you got two, four, four, two, four, 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 two, four, two, two, four, four, two, four, 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 two, four, two. But then we go back to the E part. We had that two, four, two, 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 one, two, four, two, three, four, O. But then for the B chord, when we get to the B7, you're kind of doing the A string with two, two, four, two, and then for the A chord, we're going open A twice, and then we go second fret on A, and then we start the E thing again. So for the B part, you got two, two, four, two, open A, open A, two, and then two, four, two, 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 one, two, four, two, three, four, oh, we're going back to the E part. So that could be kind of a cool thing to kind of kick off the tune because a lot of people hear that lick and go, oh my gosh, it's in the summertime, I love that song. But a lot of times with, with a lick like that to, to make it sound a little bit brighter, we could shift that by octave because right now the notes you're playing for that lick, you're going B, C sharp, E, 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 A sharp, B, C sharp, B, G, G sharp, E, B, C sharp, E, 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 A sharp, B, C sharp, B, G, G sharp, E, but then you're going B, C sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, and then B, C sharp, E, 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 A sharp, B, C sharp, B, G, G sharp, E, and then for the B part, you got that B, B, C sharp, B, A, A, B, and then we kind of start over again. But we could take those notes and then do what, what's called shifting by octave, which instead of playing starting on the low B, you could start on a higher B. So if we do that, it'll sound a little bit more like lead guitar. And, and what we do is start on the open B string for the B note, and then second fret on the B for the C sharp note, and then open E three times, and then we're going to go G string third, and then open B, and then second fret on the B, and then open B, and then open G, and then first fret on the G. Second fret on the D. So you got open two, open E, three on the G, open B, second fret on the B, open B, open G, first fret on the G, second fret on the B. But you're really playing those same notes B, C sharp, E, 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 A sharp, B, C sharp, B, G, G sharp, E. part then you just have F sharp and E so we got the F sharp on the high E and then open E F sharp E F sharp E F sharp E F sharp E 2O 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 at least I think that's kind of an easier way to do that and then you bay back to, to that B C sharp E E E A sharp B C sharp B G G sharp E and then for the B you could do the open B string twice and then second fret on the B for the C sharp note and then open B, and then second fret on the G for A note, and then open B, and then you start the E one over again where you got the E, C sharp, E, 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 A sharp, B, C sharp, B, G, G sharp, E. Anyway, but that's the basics of how you could strum through in the summertime by Mungo Jerry. So, good luck!